In this episode, we're gonna be fixing our BCM. Hey everyone, and welcome to today's episode sponsored by Tool Maniac, that's right. And don't forget, Tool Maniac have their own website where you can buy any garage tool that you need, in fact, any tool that you need from, uh, whether you'll be a plumber or electrician, you can get that from their website. And also don't forget that Tool Maniac have their own YouTube channel, so check out the link below where you can uh, see what they're up to. And also, if you're a casual subscriber, don't forget to subscribe here. Okay, so it's BCM day. So today we are going to be dealing with the issue we've been having with the BCM and the indicators. But I've having to do it inside because of the state of the weather. Now looking outside, just look how bad the rain is. It's been raining all day. So I've not been able to do anything. And that made it a little bit more difficult to film because of the weather. So I had to do it in the garage. And it's quite awkward because you've got to take the, uh, you've got to work in the footwell, you've got to take off the panel underneath um, which is held in by these four bolts. But we done it, we got it out, and we managed to get the BCM out in the garage. And when we found the BCM, or when we took the BCM out, wow, what a surprise. Let's take a look. So here's the BCMs. This is the original one from the car, and this is the donor one that I'm going to fit later on. Now, there was a telltale sign, and unfortunately, the fact that there isn't any smell vision you can't smell it. But when I got underneath and took the panel away, there was this strong smell of burnt electronics. So anyway, I, I've taken the BCM out and then I thought, right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually take it apart and see what's damaged. So we've taken the cover out. And if you look here, you will see, yeah, burnt chip, burnt processor. And then turn it around and sure enough, there's your culprit. So this, uh, processor has completely burnt out and I bet that is what manages the indicator and, is, and has caused a short. So this BCM is totally fried like I said last week in my video which confirms the reason why my indicators doesn't work despite the fact trying to reset the um, BCM several times. So I'm happy with that now and I know that it's definitely shot. So all we have to do now is take this new BCM and we need to then put it into the car. And what I've done, I, could, I did a complete backup of all the um, modules in my car. So that should allow me to be able to at least restore the built as um, settings back into the car. So we're gonna put this back in Again, we're not gonna be able to show you that, but I'll try to do something and show you the location where it is for your reference. And once we get this BCM back in place, we'll then be able to then um, get on Forescan, upload the um, settings that we've saved, and then let's hopefully see if that fixes my indicator problem. Okay, so let's get the BCM in the car. Now, before we do that, I need to put the headlights temporarily in place so that I can shut the bonnet. Because when you're doing any BCM programming, you need to make sure that everything is shut in the car. So the windows, everything needs to be closed so that when the um, when it does its diagnostics, it, it's, it's checking to see whether any components are open. And if they are, then it will either cancel it out so it won't recognize it, which means you then have to do a reset. Um, so you need to make sure that everything has been closed. And I learned that from one of my subscribers, RA, Rob, great help, another Rob. So we'll do that. And then let me show, so we've got the BCA ready, the BCM rather. Now the good thing about the BCM, and I'm gonna try and show you this in the car, each socket has a, um, it's got a color code. So it's actually got the word of which color cable plugs in. So in the top here, it says blue, we've got gray, white, and green. And then here we've got white, here we have blue, and then here we have gray. So each of the actual connectors, obviously are color coded. But what I did was I also took a picture so I knew exactly what it would look like when I um, was going to reconnect it to the car to make double check to make sure. So that's always very, very important. And then final thing, obviously fitting the BCM, I'm gonna make sure that the battery is disconnected. Right, let's get this bit together and then let's get in the car. 
Okay, so before we start, just to let you know the location of the BCM, it is under the passenger footwell there. So you need to remove this bit of trim here first, which is just a under tray. It's held together by four plastic clips. The clips in question, you'll need to use a one of those um, plastic removal tools to, to get them off. Um, and then once you've got that, that box down there will conveniently fall and then the BCM is on a bracket that secures to the um, back a firewall so let's uh and what I'm going to do rather than plug it in place I'm going to leave it loose because before I put it into its final position I want to make sure that the BCM is clearly working so if you're wondering what the light is that I'm using it's my O light my H2R um it's a brilliant light you saw, probably saw the review um and I'm not getting paid for this, it's not a sponsored link. This is just me saying what I'm using as a backlight. Right, let's get this BCM plugged up and then we're gonna get four scan out to um, reprogram it and re-upload my as-built uh, profile. Okay, so you're now looking up under the footwell. These are, all, these are all the connectors from the BCM. So we're gonna connect all those up and then we'll put the battery on the car. So the battery is disconnected. One has learned from his lesson. So we'll connect these out and then once we're happy that all of these are in place, then we'll connect the battery and we'll connect full scan and we'll start that process. Okay, so the BCM is now connected, the battery is now powered up, and the first bit of good news I can see, no indicators are on. None are on in the back. You saw my brake lights just go out there, which is good. That's what it's supposed to do. And in the front, we have no indicator on there, and no indicator on there, so the indicators are now off. Right, so I'm going to grab my laptop now. We're going to go inside the car and we're going to get Forescan booted up. Okay, so we've got Forescan booted up now. So, and I've got all the door and the bonnets and the boots closed. You need to have everything closed before you do anything in Forescan. So, we need to put the car on but not started. I'm going to put the handbrake up because I had it down because it already said that as well. So we'll put the car in neutral. We're starting the car. And now I'm gonna connect four scan. So we'll go right onto the screen. Okay, right. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to connect up. So we're gonna connect the connect button. Yep, we say okay to that. It's telling me that it's found my profile. So we say yes. And then at some point, there we go, it's gonna ask me, do I have a high speed, speed um, scanning module or switch? I'm gonna say yes. And it's gonna tell me to switch it to high speed. Okay, so we're now switched to high speed and that will allow it to find the BCM. Here we are, so it's found the BCM module, which is good. Okay, so now what we can do is go to programming. So we go to the programming mode, we're gonna select, not the backup, but the BCM module configuration built as, and we're gonna load that. It's gonna give me a warning. Yep, we know, we're gonna say okay to that. Uh, we're gonna continue. Now, if you need to have the um, beta 2.3.25 beta EL1, I'm gonna repeat that. Forescan version 2.3.25 beta EL1 to get you past this stage. The previous one basically used to stop the um, this process and you had to start the car or something to get it past here. So we'll click on yes, and then it's gonna bring up all the um, blocks. Okay, so we now go into load. So we're gonna load all, we're gonna load our this is the one that we um, created, the last good known 
back up from the previous BCM. So we're going to say OK to that. And then we're going to write it. Yep, this will permanently rewrite the module. Are you sure? Yes, we are. Then it should prompt me to turn the car off. There you are, all the motors are going through their bits, programming successful. Please cycle the ignition off and then back on. Okay, so we're gonna turn the ignition off. And then we're gonna turn it back on. Okay, and then we'll click okay on that. Right, so that's how we've written. Now we need to see if it's worked or not. Right, so here's the moment of truth. So already, since um, doing the program, I see that my daylight running lights are both at the same consistency and I have no other lights on. So let's start, <laughs> here we go. I'm gonna turn on the uh, right indicator. Brilliant, it's working, there we go. That is on, let's check the back. Make sure we get in the back. I can see the back's working as well. Fantastic. Right, let's try the other side. Yes. And we'll try the back, see the back. Fantastic. And let's try the hazard lights. Yep, so we're working. That seems to have fixed the problem, which is great. So our indicators are back and running. Right, so that's that done. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna run a diagnostic. So I need to close the bonnet down again, and we'll run a full diagnostics to make sure that everything is working. Then we need to test all the components. So I'm gonna open the garage door, I'll close down the um, bonnet and then we'll do a test to make sure that everything else is working. Okay, so back in the car now, got the windows closed, bonnet back down. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna run and see if we got any, any um, codes. So we're going to, we're gonna clear down these codes or just erase them from the log. And we're going to now see if we can, I might need to connect up again actually to be fair because it isn't seeing the car. There we go. So let's just close down BCM, or Wolf Force Scan I should say. Let's fire her back up. And then let's reinitiate a connection. And interestingly, the last time I was in the car, there was a clear burnt smell, and that was the um, previous BCM. And now that smell is gone, and the car is beginning to smell nice and fresh. Right, okay, so let's do a, let's do a scan now and see if we can find any, here we go, BCM. Now, what we don't want to do is we don't want to necessarily disconnect the module. We just want to see if there's any codes that we need to find. So let's read to see if there's any codes. Okay. Here we go. So... BCM, it says malfunction indicator lamp is off for this. Right, we know that's gone now, so um, let's clear that. Yep, let's reset it. A lot of flicking you need to do. Cycle the ignition back on and off. Ignition is off. We need to give it about five or 10 seconds for it to shut down. And then we fire the ignition back on again. 
Okay. Good. Right. So let's go to BCM again. And then let's read any codes. Let's see if it's found anything this time around. Okay. A lot of flicking you need to do on this. Good. And BCM has no errors. There's only one here and it is saying that malfunction indicator lamp is off for this DTC. Don't know what that is because the indicator lamp certainly isn't off. But um, hey, <laughs> as long as it's working, that's the main thing. So before we had a whole lot of codes in here telling me about the indicators. Um, now it's um, clearly not and it's found this ambient temperature sensor which was an old cold that's an easy fix that's just a sensor at the front and that was damaged during the impact hence the reason why we have this so other than this um this one here which i'm not too sure what this is i'm going to look this up anyway we're in a really good place okay so let's make sure that the car starts okay clutch in This car runs absolutely fine. So that's great. And let's just check indicators. Yep. Horn. Yep. Okay. That is great. So it's all working. Okay, let's um check the remote. It should just work without actually any additional programming. So key in my hand. Yep, I heard the door go off there, so the ignition, yep, now it's definitely locked, locked down and loaded, let's open it, yeah, working perfectly, excellent, so that is it, job done. Okay, so that is some real, really good progress this week. Sorting that BCM is a major headache off my mind and means that I don't have to go and pay for an expensive diagnostic and fix down the Ford dealership. And to think that the BCM only cost me £40 from eBay. Um, had to make sure I got the right part number um, because there are various different modules. So as long as the serial number, and I'll show you on screen now, as long as this number is, or these two numbers that are highlighted are the same, then you're going to be in a good place. So that is it for this week. I hope you've enjoyed this and found it a valuable lesson. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber, a casual viewer, because we appreciate that. And we're going to have a midweek update video just to tell you what's happening um, because you may have noticed that it's been kind of slow the way that this car has been progressing and there's a reason why and I'm going to reveal that during the midweek update which should drop around Wednesday evening something like that or maybe Thursday morning depending on the time that I'm able to upload but um, but yeah so we're making good progress the next video that we do on the car will probably be one of the last other than the painting so we're going to get the car running after, this is after the update um, so we are in a good place so thank you for viewing everyone have a good week we'll see you midweek have a good week